Welcome everybody to a faith moment today. I've chosen a scripture verse about a special prayer and I've chosen that because I'm really conscious that a lot of us are getting tired at the moment. It's been a long haul and there's still some way to go. So there's a little bit of weariness around, a little bit of tiredness, maybe a lot. So I've chosen a prayer that I'd like to share with you. And it's a prayer that St. Paul prayed for the Ephesian church. It's a special prayer. And as we're thinking together, you may want to pray this prayer for yourself first, as I have been doing. And you may want to pray it for other people again, which I am, I'm praying for others. But let's think about this prayer. In Ephesians chapter 3, Paul says, I pray that out of God's glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. Just read that again. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. And it goes on, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. So this has been a long haul and it's continuing. For those of us that are working, it sometimes gets a bit wearing. For those of us with kids at home, again, for those of us that are multitasking, for those of us that are by ourselves and just not able to do the things that we normally want to do or see the people we want to see, it's becoming tiring in many different ways. And I'm realising, I'm saying to God, I can't do this in my own strength, I need yours. And your strength, when it clicks in, is so powerful. I pray that out of his glorious riches, God has the riches of the universe and beyond, the riches of himself, that God may strengthen you, strengthen you with power, dynamite power, through his spirit in your inner being. The difference with God is that he's not motivating us to come on, keep going, try harder. God's saying, actually, let me strengthen you with my power, the power of my spirit in your inner being. So wherever you are at the moment, if you're tired, if you're weary, if you're just fed up, whatever you are feeling inside, he's not asking you to keep on going. He's saying, let me strengthen you with power through my spirit in your inner being, right deep in that deepest place. So that Christ himself may dwell in your hearts through faith. So that Christ himself may dwell in your hearts through faith. One of the secrets of the Christian life is it's not us trying to live for God, but it's Christ himself living in us, living for God. And I actually wonder if part of what God wants to teach us in this virus strange time is actually to let Christ live and move and work in our hearts. Give him space to work, not relying on our own strength, but letting him live and work, dwell in our hearts. Just recently, I was driving back from somewhere, not very far away actually, but I realized that I'd forgotten to fill up with petrol. It's a very strange time, so I just forgot to fill up with petrol. And I was quite close to the empty. And I thought, I'll be all right, I'm not going far. I'll get there and I'll get back. Because I like to go to Parbol Garage just to support the local garage. I thought, I'll get there and back, I'll be fine. And I got there and then started to come back and I'm thinking, oh, it is actually pretty close to the empty. And it had a little trip sign and I thought, I wonder what that means. Has it tripped in or has it not tripped in? Is there more petrol there? Is there not? Do I carry on going? And first of all, I thought, I'm just going to carry on going. I want to get back and I'm going to get my petrol for Parbol. And then I was driving and I thought, this is actually being a bit silly. Just because you press on doesn't mean you're actually going to get home. I'm better off stopping. So I stopped and got some petrol on the way home and just put enough in to get me home. And then I went to Parbol. <laughs> but I could have pressed on thinking, yeah, I can see I'm near empty. I'll just keep going. It'll be all right. But for once in my life, I had a bit of sense and I stopped and I filled up. I think God's saying to us, maybe stop a little bit more often to let me fill you up. We all leak, we need filling up. 
that prayer that I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. It's fuel for the journey and we can't run without the power of his spirit in us or we'll wear ourselves out so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And then Paul goes on to pray so that this is for the journey. It's not selfish. It's not self-seeking. We're asking God to fill us up with his power by his spirit in our inner being so that Christ may dwell in our hearts through faith so that we can journey on with him to love and to serve and to give and to honour him in these times. So can I suggest we just take a moment to pray? And in the quietness, just be honest with God. How close to empty are you? Are you tired? Are you weary? Or are you okay? You fill up when you're near empty and you fill up anyway sometimes. But how close to empty are you? And you need God to fill you again. Let's not press on thinking we'll get home okay. Let's stop and ask God to fill us up. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will strengthen me with power through your spirit in my inner being. Where I'm running on empty, help me to stop and to ask you to fill me with your spirit again. Teach me to pray the same prayer for those around me. Thank you. Amen. That's a prayer to pray for other people. Um, it's the best thing to do. Even if someone's really annoying you or making you whatever, just pray for them, that God will fill them again with his Holy Spirit. If they don't know him yet, if they haven't met Christ yet, that they'll come to know him. But let's pray for ourselves and let's pray for each other. What I've suggested on the link that came with this video is that we don't try too hard now. There's a beautiful um, video clip that I've just put on the, on the email to you with some quiet worship music. Can I suggest that we just sit back and spend a few minutes just worshipping or just sitting with God and letting him fill us. If you haven't got much time, maybe just time, put a timer on your phone for two or three minutes and then just let the timer go off and remind you, but just sit back and as you watch the video, just allow it to flow over you. If you've got more time, take more time, but let's fill up. Let's allow God to fill us with his Holy Spirit. And that video is a lovely way of doing it. You might have a different way yourself. Whatever works for you. But let's not run too close to empty. Let's allow God to fill us again and again and again for the journey to help others. Let's pray together. So Father God, today and every day, help us to draw on you, on your power within us. Fill us again and again, we pray. Help us not to go too close to empty, but to stop and to let you fill. Thank you for the journey and thank you for your faithfulness. And so now may your blessing be with us and all those we love in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So God bless you and God keep you. And the link for that little worship piece of music is on the email that was sent to you. God bless you.